Hi, I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. I spent a lot of time focused on performance, getting things to go faster. And there's a lot of misconceptions that enter into those conversations. For example, we tend to focus way too often on the virtual environment. Well, the truth is that many environments are still physical environments where we have just an operating system, probably Windows, and maybe a database like Microsoft SQL. Of course, it could also be Exchange or SharePoint or anything like that. Um, and the performance of this environment matters. A lot of times it's a mission critical uh, workload that really drives the business. Well, the other misconception that we see a lot is I don't have to worry about fragmentation anymore, which was typically something we worried a lot about with Windows. Why don't I have to worry about fragmentation anymore? Well, the, the general conception is that I've got uh, this attached to a shared uh, disk array, a SAN, uh, and that SAN takes care of all my fragmentation issues. Well, kind of, but not exactly. What actually happens in this SAN, if I have to give this SQL environment a terabyte of storage, is I subdivide that up and I set my one terabyte right there. And then that one terabyte is now totally under the control of the Windows operating system. Okay, well, the problem is, is that I can fragment quite heavily now within that logical disk. And that really becomes an issue because as I go to retrieve information, if I need to get one bit of information or one section of information, uh, if it's fragmented, I might have to make 25 different I.O. requests to get a, a piece of data that's been fragmented 25 times. Where if it wasn't fragmented, I just need one I.O. request. So you can see that that's a pretty big difference in the amount of I.O.s that are required. So what's the answer? Well, the answer is to be able to defragment this in such a way that it doesn't impact performance, so we don't have to shut things down to do a defragmentation job and things like that. Well, there's a company called Conducive, and they have a product called Disk Keeper. And that product actually runs in line as a filter driver right in the uh, Windows operating system. And what it does is it eliminates fragmentation at its source by essentially writing data out in the correct format. It just makes Windows better at what it's supposed to do. And the result is now, when I go to get a segment of data, I only have to make one I.O. request instead of 25, right? So write and read operations become more performant. And so one of the things we recommend is that you look at technologies like this before you implement Flash or anything like that. That way you, you know that you've eliminated any performance bottlenecks you'll have. And even if you do go to Flash, you know you'll get maximum performance out of it. So that's some of the misconceptions that we see in the performance uh, focused area of the space. Uh, physical servers still matter a lot. Uh, fragmentation still happens. SAN arrays don't fix it. So what you need is something to do that fix. Conducive is a good example of a company that can do that for you. I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us.